Hello everybody, I am going to teach you how to create a signature line on your Lotus Notes that looks kind of pretty the way you'll notice Albert has his here. He's still got the confidentiality statement. He's got his name, his contact information, and a pretty Stony Point logo. You can use the Stony Point logo or any logo you wish to use. Just make sure that you are aware of copyright infringement. Make sure that you're not using something that's going to get us sued. <laughs> um, so the first thing you want to do is I have already used, um, copied the required confidentiality statement onto here and what I like to do is I kinda like to make it somewhat small um, so I'll make it a little bit smaller here and now I am going to uh, this is the logo I'm gonna use that Stony Point logo I'm just gonna copy the image into Word here and I'll make it a little bit smaller. Now I want to start typing what I want. So my name is Ann Mattingly. Um, and one thing you'll need to do is right click the text wrapping. You'll want to make it square. Let's see how that kind of works a little bit better. So my name is Ann Mattingly. Um, I am an instructional technology specialist at Stony Point High School. And my phone number is 512-428-7106. Um, and you could even put in your email address. I'm Ann underscore Mattingly at roundrockisd.org. And I'm actually going to remove this hyperlink. Okay, so now let me take out the space after the paragraph and start formatting the way I want the text to look. I like the Lucinda calligraphy. I'm going to bold my name and make it pretty big. And I've got the instructional technology specialist going on. I guess I think I'm going to stick with, no. Um, I'll go with Arial. I kind of like that look. Um, and I'm going to bold it. And I, for some reason, I just like to make this kind of like fine print. <laughs> so I'm making that kind of small. One thing that you will notice, though, um, is I want to get rid of this little green. It doesn't like this grammar here. I'm just going to ignore that so that it doesn't appear in my signature line. So now let me go ahead and make that a lot smaller. I guess I should make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and now I've got my signature line, but I have to save it in the kind of file that Lotus likes, and this is where Windows 7 can help you. If you've never used the snipping tool, what you do is you come down to the jewel here, the start menu, and even if it, if it doesn't appear right away, just start typing snipping tool, and it will come up here, and now I select it, and now I'm just going to start to snip. Ta-da! Now I have an image that I can save. In this case, we want to make sure that we save this as a JPEG file. I'm going to call it SIGLINE for signature line. I'm saving it to my H drive. And in this case, yes, I'm replacing it. And now it's time to tell Lotus to recognize it. Hold on. Uh, sorry about that, you guys. Um, so coming up to Lotus, in my inbox, I am going to go to Tools, Preferences, and Signature. And you want to make sure that this automatically append signature to the bottom of outgoing messages is checked. If you have text, you want to choose HTML or image file. And now I'm going to browse. I'm going to go to my H drive. I'm going to come down here and tell it that I want to go to the JPEG images. And here it is, my SIG line. Press OK, and now, next time I go to a new memo, look at that. There it is. So if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Next year, we will all be using Gmail, so I'll have to make another tutorial to show you how to do this with Gmail. Have a good day.